Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for August 5th and 6th, Monday and Tuesday for my Sagittarius's. Hello my Sagittarius, how are you? I hope wonderful. I am feeling very, very positive, very hopeful, very optimistic. Yes, even though we're in that shadow of the retrograde, Mercury is direct, we're out of July, I feel good. So, short reading, general reading. I use my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest, okay? Let's see what we have going on for my Sagittarius's. Yeah, July was a rough month for me, too, Just and it wasn't necessarily that bad things or anything like that was happening, but the energies were just so um, almost oppressive. And I, you know, I don't know how that was for you, but let's see. Okay, first and third are reversed. Strong messages here for you. The two of water. Okay, you've been getting, haven't, we've been talking a little bit about the relationships. Now, water is, of course, emotional fluid. You know, things, you know, that, that tide goes back and forth, ebbs and flows, but it's, I feel like this is a strong tide. I feel like this is strong, you know, you know, it, it's, it's like, you know, just the energy is just really, really strong. This is Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio energy also. This is about a relationship which could be your job, it could be, inter, you know, could be personal or could be family. A relationship that continues to grow closer, forgiveness, which is, you know, I'm always into forgiveness. And remember, forgiveness doesn't mean you have to forget. It doesn't mean that you have to go back into the situation. It just, forgiveness helps you, okay? The positive resolution of a conflict. So you could, you know, there could be some things, there could be some, you know, like, um, you know, the, the, you know, if you have a, if you know gumball machines that, you know, the penny drops in, or the quarter now or whatever the coin is, it drops in the gumball machine. Sometimes I'm feeling that, you know, sometimes in the olden days, maybe even current, you'll put in whatever you do and you want to turn it and it doesn't drop. And what we used to do, or, you know, you'd call your parents, oh, my money, you know, and they would take it and do a, a, a real good hit to the machine. And then the you know, the penny dropped or the quarter or the dime, whatever that was, whatever kind of currency you were using, but it was a coin and it would drop. So here, you, you know, I feel like, you know, you've been trying and trying and trying to twist that little dial to make that coin, um, you know, coin drop. And then here comes the universe and pops it and then the coin drops. Okay. Now that, I hope you understand that example, but let's see. Next card is the emperor. Archangel Michael, Emperor is about, you know, I'm feeling very much about logic. This is one of the major arcanas too. And Michael is very, very strong warrior, strong protector. Okay, this is a very, this is strength. So this means that, you, you know, to me, this is usually a work type of relationship card. This is a card about leadership. Maybe this is you being put into a place of leadership. This might be that you have new leadership but this is about leadership, it's about organization, it's about logic, it's about, it's about kind of, it's kind of taking the emotion and kind of putting the emotion a little bit aside so that you can, you know, you can um, present well and, I, you know, so, so there could be something that now finally, maybe this is that job you've been waiting for, that relationship you've been waiting for, you know, Mercury, it doesn't matter so much that it's in the shadow because it is going direct. You know, so maybe this is, it's like things being put into the place because the emperor, the emperor likes things in its place, okay? So this is organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. And our last card, again reversed, the ace of earth, earth energy, new money, new money, new money, new money, new money, 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 solid energy, I just kept hearing that in my head, so I had to keep saying that out loud for whoever that is. I love that for you. Solid energy, Virgo, Taurus, and our Capricorn energy, it's, it's something you can touch. You know, sometimes it's money. Sometimes it could be your home. It could be, you know, it could be your lamp, but it's something that you touch. It could be your family. But, you know, again, it's something that you can hold. So, 
Aces are about new beginnings. So it's like finally, th you know, like things are like popping and you know, things are moving and shaking and that penny's dropping. Things are going into its places and it's opened up new opportunities for you. However, now remember too, when I say this, you still have to make the movements. You still have to put in the legwork. Yes, sometimes the universe just says, you, you know, it says here, here's a gift and that's fine. You say, thank you. But, you know, but remember, a lot of these things, they fall into place because you put in your resume. Or maybe you knew somebody who knew somebody. But it's still, you did the footwork. You, put, you brought yourself. But while you brought yourself to here, and this is, you know, the energies are still, they're very opening, they're very welcoming, and they're saying, good job, my Sagittariuses. So the Ace of Earth is the inflow of abundance, a promising business, business venture, important documents or contracts so you know whenever i see that important documents or contracts you know maybe you're going to have to sign some sort of you know agreement if you if this is a job if this is a house always get somebody else to get you know take a second look at that because you know that's a good idea but at the same time it's like for my sagittarius wow we've been we've been wanting you know we have been moving towards here and now that that, you know, Mercury Direct, Eli's energy, huh, all of that's going forward. This is looking really positive, really hopeful. You know, take advantage of it. Take advantage of it. Get out there and, you know, get out there and just say, I want it. I want it. Okay? Okay. So my Sagittarius is, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.